thousands of North Texans are dealing with squatters, uninvited guests that have moved in without even paying rent. Open a door and you'll likely have a bunch of these roommates. They may look like mosquitoes, but they're not. The common name is crane fly, but when I came to Texas, I heard skeeter eater, uh, mosquito hawk, and I've also heard daddy long legs. Whatever you call them, Allison Ravenscraft, assistant biology professor at UTA and a self-professed bug nerd, says you may be seeing a lot more of them this spring. I think the reason we have so many this year is because we had a pretty mild winter and a wet spring. And when crane flies start appearing, like they are right now, mosquitoes are soon to follow. This may be the point where you're thinking, good, they're called skeeter eaters for a reason. Let them eat the mosquitoes. Only that's not true. They don't eat skeeters at all. Actually, they can't really eat anything. They don't even have the mouth parts to do it. Crane flies pretty much spend their entire life doing one thing, reproducing. They only live for two weeks, unless a cat's paw or an abuela's chancla chooses violence. But you may want to think twice before squashing these little guys. They're the big friendly helium balloon of bugs. <laughs> they get blown around, they bump into you accidentally, and they don't mean it. More importantly, they help the ecosystem a lot. They help decompose our dying plants, and also they're an important food source early in the spring before a lot of other insectivorous animals have something to eat. In other words, let them move in, because Mother Nature will definitely pay you back. In Arlington, I'm Sean Giggy.